synchronicities are real. They happen. And I'm uh, still reeling a little bit from this <clears throat> recent synchronicity that I've experienced. Let me, uh, let me explain uh, by first going back a few years. I, I remember something like maybe five or six years ago, <clears throat> I came across some article or something, I don't even remember what it was, uh, where it was stated that Gloria Steinem was, you know, the 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 uber feminist uh, of the of the uh, baby boomer era, um, you know, a woman without a man is like a fish without a bicycle, you know, that broad, who <laughs> came up with that, who came up with that garbage, um, she's uh, that that she was actually on the CIA payroll, and I wanted to. Uh, find out more about that or I wanted to find out if anybody had any more details about that because it was just sort of referred to in passing I think where I where I first saw it so I got on uh YouBoob and uh typed in uh uh Gloria Steinem CIA and the first video that came up was a speech given by a a woman named Frances Saunders and she was speaking somewhere in, I think, I believe it was in maybe D.C., either D.C. or New York, but I think it was in D.C. in the year 2000. And she was a British uh, author, um, very well-spoken, very sharp, uh, very quick-witted, uh, you know, uh, like uh, kind of intimidating, like like uh, like somebody who... Uh, you know, you, you, you wouldn't want to cross swords with her, uh, because, uh, she, she'd get the better of you. Uh, and I'll, I will leave the link to that video below. Uh, anyway, uh, very interesting speech that she gives, um, uh, on this occasion, which is again, many, many years ago now, like the year 2000. And it, she she does mention Gloria Steinem being on the CIA payroll, but uh, she talks more broadly about how the CIA was behind uh, the behind cultural creation in in a number of ways. Um, how they uh, heavily bankrolled uh, a number of literary magazines and brought brought in you know authors of presti prestige and renown, uh, particularly ex-communist uh, uh, authors, uh, you know, people who were, who saw themselves as being liberal or, or on the left generally, but on the non-communist left, uh, who were anti-communist. Um, she, the, these, these kinds of uh, um, uh, literary magazines like Partisan Review, Encounter, uh, and, and a Paris review, I think was one. And, and, uh, there were a number of others that essentially all of these, these writers were, uh, were working for the CIA, whether they knew it or not. Uh, and the, the, uh, Congress of cultural freedom was, uh, the, the organization that was set up. It was the CIA front group generally that was set up. And was given just, you know, uh, as as much money as they as they uh, uh, required uh, to to heavily promote these authors and these artists as well. That uh, uh, the the CIA was heavily behind the funding of modern art and the Museum of Modern Art or MoMA, uh, you know, the famous museum in New York, um, was essentially a a CIA front as well. Um, so the Glor Gloria Steinem and her her role with the CIA uh, uh, is covered in Francis Saunders' uh, speech, but uh, uh, but it's only uh, more or less a footnote. It, it's 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 one detail among many that that are covered in this uh, <clears throat> in this general. Um, this general speech in which she's talking uh, about, she's, she's promoting her book, which is called the cultural cold war. 
Um, so this was several years ago. I remembered watching this video and, and thinking, wow, this is pretty interesting. But uh, I, I, I don't know. It didn't stay with me or, or I forgot about it. And as, as sometimes hap happens on, uh, on YouTube, you know, videos disappear or they're taken down. Maybe the, maybe the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the person who first put it up took it down on his own, or maybe it was taken down for some other reason. Who knows? Um, but more recently, I, I remember, I remembered thinking, you know, I, I wanted to look up that video again because I, I've become more interested recently in, in, uh, the, uh, activities of the CIA, uh, you know, and, and, uh, all of the, all, they really had their fingers in, in so many pies. Uh, it, it's just, <laughs> you know, they were overthrowing, uh, governments, uh, rigging elections, you know, do, doing all this, um, uh, chaotic political stuff. Um, you know, all this messy and, and violent political stuff, I should say. It's not, it wasn't really chaotic because it, it was, there was a purpose behind it all. Um, what they were doing all of that, well, at the same time, they were also, uh, promoting culture. They were, they were, um, taking these authors and, and, and it wasn't just like you, you would expect it just to be all, stalwart, you know, far right, you know, extreme anti-communist, uh, uh, extreme religious types, but no, that, that was not the norm. It was mostly, uh, writers who would be thought of as being on the left, but who were anti-communists. They, they were the ones who were the most taken advantage, advantage of, or the ones, the ones who were most highlighted, I, I should say, the ones who were most celebrated, uh, feted, um, uh, or faded. <laughs> is it fetid or faded? F E T E D. Somebody tell me, uh, because I, I, I just can never get that, uh, pronunciation right. Celebrated. Let's just say, I, I know how to pronounce that word. Um, celebrated and funded. So these, these, these writers, these artists, uh, these, these, um, you know, hard hitting, um, major league intellectuals were, on the CIA payroll, uh, and uh, it's likely that a lot of them didn't know it, uh, and uh, but it's probable that 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 some of them did, and and so uh, I, I I just recently you know decided to go back and see if that video and watch that video again, um, you know now not so much because of the the Gloria Steinem thing, although that's still certainly interesting, uh, you know, to the, the degree to which, uh, cultural or corporate feminism was, uh, was sponsored by the CIA, uh, you know, was an, an astroturf phenomenon. Uh, that's, that's certainly an interesting, uh, thing to observe as well, in addition to all the rest of this stuff. But I, I went back just because I was, I was just more interested in the general phenomenon of the, the, the CIA working as a cultural, uh, in the cultural created creation department. Um, and you know, hiding their role, you know, it, it was, it was uh, essential that these publications be seen as independent and that these writers be seen as independent and iconoclastic and like they were standing up against, uh, you know, the, the masked man, uh, you know, standing up against, uh, the communist hordes, um, standing up against, uh, you know, the dangers of, uh, uh, Soviet, uh, communism and, and so forth, uh, just on their own, making a brave, you know, solitary stand as it were. Uh, but the truth was they were heavily backed, um, by, uh, by this, <laughs> This is what would what I would call a wayward branch of the American government. You know, it's more like I don't I don't think the CIA. The more I hear about and know about and study 
the CIA, the, the less I think of them as any kind of branch of, of, of any government. It's just more like the organiza an organization that does what it wants to do. Um, and, uh, isn't beholden, doesn't feel themselves to be, uh, or don't feel themselves to be beholden to anyone. And they've got, you know, plenty of money and power and clout to, to prevail regardless, uh, of whether the law is on their side or not, regardless of whether they're, uh, they're doing, they're staying within their, within the lane that they're supposed to be staying in, which is, you know, collecting intelligence <clears throat> or not. And clearly they're, they're, they were, they've always been doing way much more than that. Um, of course there are also, there's also all the MK ultra stuff, which may be the most egregious, uh, of all, of all of their activities. Um, but it just so happened that while I, so I, I should also, I should first say, I went back, saw the video again and saw that it had just been reposted fairly recently, like a year ago, uh, by somebody else. It was the same video, but, uh, but it, it had obviously been <clears throat> the original one that I'd seen several years ago had been taken down. Um, <clears throat> and somebody else put this, this new one up cause it only had, it had a fairly small number of, of views <clears throat> And it was only from like a year ago, uh, even though the, the video itself is, was, was recorded, you know, back in the year 2000. So I went back and watched it again. I was interested, interested enough this time to actually purchase, uh, the book by Frances Saunders. I have no idea <clears throat> what has become of her, uh, in the two decades plus since then. Um, you know, hope she's still, still around and and writing and, and, uh, doing her thing. But, uh, in any case, <clears throat> I now, I now became interested